Hey everybody, welcome back to another Sony Vegas Pro 8 tutorial. Yes, Sony Vegas Pro 9 came out and I did a quick review on it and I'm going to continue my tutorials on Pro 8 simply because I just don't like Pro 9. That's just my opinion. Uh, I don't really care what you think, but I'm going to do all my tutorials on Pro 8. Unless Pro 10 comes out, maybe it'll be better. I don't know. But anyways, this tutorial is going to show you a very useful trick in Sony Vegas called batch rendering. It is used uh, when you want to render multiple files in one sitting. Uh, you might know that if you're trying to render, let's say you have three uh, video clips, and you all want to render them as uh, one file or separate files, what you would have to do is, let's just drag in uh, three clips here. Let's get red, um, green, and blue. So, if you wanted to render each of these as uh, separate clips, what you'll do is go up here to the selection area, and you're going to select it like that, so that it's uh, in the loop region, that's what it's called. And you're going to go to File, Render As, and what you're going to do is make sure that Render Loop Region o uh, Only is checked, and then uh, just choose the file location, let's just do My Documents, and uh, type Red, and then you can choose the preset and the file type and stuff. And then you're going to hit Save, and then once that's finished rendering, what you're going to do is uh, remove the loop region here, and then do it here, like that. And that's very frustrating, uh, depending on your personality and stuff, because you have to keep going back to the computer every half hour or 45 minutes or whatever settings you're using. So it could take an hour for your clip to render, and then you're just going to have to find yourself coming back to the computer every now and then to see if it's done. And then once your clip is finished rendering, you're just going to do the same thing over and over for each clip. Well, what batch rendering does is it does all this automatically in one sitting. So you only have to configure the settings once, and it will render each uh, clip separately in one sitting. So let me show you how to do this. So what you're going to do is, uh, so we got three clips here, and let's just say that these three colors uh, represent your entire finished product, the ones that's ready to render, and that will soon be uh, uploaded to YouTube, shared through email, or burned to a DVD or whatever. So each of these clips, like this could be a video game montage, this could be a comedy video, and this could be a music video or something. So what you're going to do is go up here to the selection area and just uh, put your mouse cursor just slightly above the end of the video clip and click and drag and it should just snap on and you'll just have a nice selection region like that. Make sure that the loop region, which is this gray thing, covers the entire video clip. Hit R on your keyboard and then type up the name you want. I'll call this red. And then you can just click out here and then we're going to do the same thing over here. So go on the green, go up to the selection area and just click and drag and cover it. And then hit R and hit green. Or color whatever you want. Let's do the same thing for blue. Hit R and type up the name. So we have these three regions here and we will all render these as separate files in one sitting. So what we're going to do is go up here to tools, scripting, batch render. And I can't confirm this but I don't know if this is uh, if this feature is on the, uh, the Sony Vegas Movie Studio or Platinum versions. So it might not be on your version of Sony Vegas, but I can't confirm that. Okay, so once we get to this screen where it says base file name, you're going to choose where you want to save it. So we can go to browse here, and I can just save it to my documents or something. I'll actually save it to my desktop folder because it's empty. Then file name, we'll just call this colors. And we'll hit save. And now what we do is choose our preset here. So let's uh, just go down to Windows Media Video V9. So then we'll hit this little uh, square thing, and then choose a preset. I have this one called YouTube High Quality. But I'm just going to do the default template to save some time. So choose your preset and your uh, file type. Then here where it says Render Project, uh, make sure that Render Regions is selected. Then you hit OK, and it will start rendering. So uh, it's not rendering all three clips simultaneously. It's uh, rendering with them uh, one at a time, but in order. So uh, right now, red is rendering, and it's 50% done. It's actually slower than usual. And uh, once it's done, which is very soon, it's 100%, it's going to reset and go to this, and now it's rendering green. So I'm rendering all three video clips um, in order, and I'm not touching my computer. The, only, the last time I touched the computer was uh, when I hit the save button in the batch rendering thing. So if you want to render multiple clips in one sitting without having to go to your computer every now and then, this is the trick for you. It's called batch rendering. It's very useful, and that's all I can really say about it. So I hope you use this trick into good use. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave a comment below. 
and let me show you if this works successfully. It should. Okay, so it's almost done. It's going pretty slow. It's just rendering colors, so I don't see why it takes so long. Okay, so it finishes rendering. Uh, you know it's done rendering when there's no loading screen or anything. It's just blank. So let's go to My Documents, and let's find the Desktop folder here. And we have three new things. And uh, you might notice that the uh, the name of the video clip is kind of weird. You might not expect it to be like that. But this is easily fixed. You just right click on your video clip and hit rename. Then you can type red, green, and blue. Or whatever. So that's basically it for batch rendering. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Uh, if you liked it, please rate it five stars and leave a comment. But you don't have to do that. I just liked saying that. But whatever. So uh, thanks for watching and take care.